So this is a ring-necked pheasant, and it's kind of the study of today's video. Um, going to be building something based off of one of these, the tail portion of them. Uh, my brother was able to acquire one of these during hunting season. They aren't typically all over the place like this and just freely roaming around on the road, but uh, when it's not hunting season, it seems like they could really care less about us or anything else. A pretty cool bird, very interesting look to it. And we're going to see what we can do just to kind of memorialize my brother's first pheasant. So here we go. Hope you enjoy the video. So up to this point, I'm just cutting out my stock materials, getting everything to size, and you can see me kind of tracing two circles on the pieces. I've got a piece of walnut and a piece of ash. My plan is to make these two circles. Um, one, one's going to be a lot smaller than the other, and they're going to fit on top of each other. We're going to see how that looks. And so at this point, I'm just uh, cutting this piece in half. That way I can get it down to a smaller size because it's, it's thick and chunky. It's like an uh, inch and a quarter or something like that and that's much too big for what I'm looking for. And so I'm just using this resaw method, like you've seen me use in a couple other videos. Still don't have a bandsaw yet, uh, working on it. But yeah, just cutting this piece in half, <clears throat> and then we're going to size it down into that circular shape that you saw before. What kind of YouTube woodworker would I be if I didn't have a Japanese pole saw to finish a cut? Well, here you go. Even though this pole saw is probably not made in Japan, it's probably not authentic. Yeah, it still works. So it's fine. My saw blade only reaches so high. Uh, I think maybe like close to three inches. And this piece is just a little bit too tall uh, for that. So I got to finish my cut with this piece. So what you're about to see me do here, this is how I'm cutting down my circle. I don't have a circle jig um, or anything like that. I looked at using my router. I didn't like any of the methods that I was possibly thinking about doing. And while this worked for me, I, I don't recommend this as like a super safe way to do this. Um, you know, it's, it's in a sped up version, but you could kind of feel it at times um, trying to pull. Uh, I don't know. Being able to just take down just a little bit at a time um, with the way that this kind of saw works was helpful, but I don't think this is the safest application um, for this. So maybe maybe try a different kind of jig or something else because I, I could see this going wrong and trying to pull you into the saw blade if you don't have a really good grip on it. So in terms of sanding, I started with 120 grit, and then I water popped, and then I went up to, I think, 180, water popped again, went up to 220, water popped again, 240. And then I think I stopped there. It seemed like it was plenty, and it was enough. So um, sanding the corners and the edges was a little bit of a challenge, uh, just trying not to leave, like, scratch marks and things like that. But uh, overall, not too bad. And I'm putting a 45-degree chamfer on all the edges, um, of it just to give it kind of like a break in that kind of hard edge. And I think it looks pretty nice. Again, the ash kind of burns a little bit, 
but if you take off some and then come back around and do just a really fine pass at the end, it, it does pretty good. All right, so I'm looking at this thing and I'm having a real problem with it because I think it looks like a pineapple and I don't really want it to look like a pineapple. I didn't think it would look like that when I designed it, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I'm just gonna go with this because I, I really like the way that this is looking, like the figuring of the wood. And I think I'm just gonna recess the feathers in behind. Uh, I think it'll still end up looking really cool. I'll figure out something for that. Worst case scenario, I made a coaster um, out of ash, I guess. Uh, but I still think I'm going to add this in somehow. I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, we're going to pivot our plan here. So at this point, I'm just recessing a groove in the back of this piece just so that it can accept the quills of the feathers. And then I'm going to hot glue them into place, and that does a pretty good job of holding them there. I couldn't think of really what else I could use to put them in there. I guess epoxy would have worked, but hot glue is a lot cheaper. So I think this is a great way to memorialize maybe like your first bird or maybe like a big one or one that happened on a specific day. Uh, pretty cheap project, probably less than $10, just time. Time is what it takes. So here's it next to a turkey mount and in a nice little setting with some deer antlers. And congratulations to my brother and his first bird. Hope you enjoy this, brother.